Hello guys, today we are going to see how we can troubleshoot an uh, electric dryer with a multimeter. There's so much you can do with a multimeter. For example, you can measure AC or DC volts. Uh, you can also measure the resistance, uh, ohms, and you can also measure continuity. And these are the three we'll be using to uh, figure out what's wrong with this dryer. Um, to quickly state what's wrong, it's not heating, um, it's tumbling, uh, the drum is spinning, but it's not heating. So I'm going to quickly check what's wrong with this and tell you the process of how to check this. In order to do anything with the heating or the belt routing or something, you know, it's ideal you take the bottom panel down so you can get a better idea of what's inside the dryer. So in this case, here's the dryer, and what you're directly staring at is the heating coil. So what happens is uh, this particular heating coil, as you can see, uh, gets really hot when supplied with 240 volts between these two terminals. Uh, sometimes these coils break and that's a reason for them not heating. The way to uh, quickly tell if the coil is good or not uh, is basically to check its continuity to see if there's a break in the middle. So what I'm going to do is put it uh, in continuity mode. So once you put this in uh, continuity mode, um, the way to do it is you, know, you just touch these two prongs and it should technically beep like that. So And it'll show a little resistance between the uh, two, uh, two prongs. So what we are basically doing is to, uh, checking to see if there's a break uh, between two places we touch. So in other words, if I touch these two, it should be because it's just conducting between them. Um, now we're going to test the coil by touching both the ends of the coil. And clearly, uh, it's showing about 10 ohms, as you can see, 11 ohms, uh, and it's beeping. So the coil is perfectly fine. Up next, uh, in the same uh, heating element uh, area, is the thermal fuse. You can see the black uh, things with the red wire on it right up here. Uh, so though we do the same test on that. I don't have room here to do it, but I've already done it. Uh, you basically put these two terminals on those two terminals on the thermal fuse, and that gives a, <clears throat> a beep as well. So we know that's good. And further along, uh, you'll see another white uh, two-prong uh, device, you probably can see from the inside. That's a thermistor, uh, which again, uh, you test the same way. You check the continuity and you touch the two terminals between this and this um, and see if it beeps. And it did, so every single thing within my heating element area is pretty much good. So to recap, there's three things. Here we can check uh, the coil, the um, thermal fuse, and the thermistor. All of them uh, we just check with the continuity in a multimeter, and all of them seems to be fine. So the next check is basically um, to see if we get a supply in this two um, ends of the coil. Um, I got to warn you here that uh, this is going to be 240 volt supply here, which is Basically, if you touch it, you're dead. So uh, do not do it um, when somebody is you know, behind you or anything of that sort. Be careful when you do this. ...of the multimeter in these two terminals like we did on uh, for the checking the continuity. So we put here and see if you're getting any supply. Remember, the dryer has to be running. And uh, in this case, it's not running because I unplugged it for safety. So when uh, we read this, it should show 240 volts. If it doesn't, uh, it basically tells us there's no current supply coming down here to the heating element, and there's nothing wrong here, but something wrong before this. So um, that's the case with me. You know, uh, it didn't have any voltage supply when I was trying to do that and um, the component before this that is supposed to send it another uh, uh, 240 volts is a relay 
So what is a relay? A relay is basically a device where when you turn a knob, it sends a signal to send a bigger current to something else. And that's exactly what this is. Uh, when we turn one of these, uh, it, send, it should send a signal to that particular uh, uh, relay um, to send a bigger current, which is 240 volts, to that coil. So we'll find that relay and see if that's okay. So in order to do that, I need to take this apart. So I already did two screws on both sides. And basically it comes apart like this. Pretty cool. Okay, so what do we got here that we can basically test around with? Uh, as you can see, here's your uh, selector knob control. And this is the sensor unit. So this basically sends uh, 48 volts to the relay. And right here is the relay, right there, the red wires that are coming out of it. That's a relay. There's also another relay here. You can see they are exactly the same relay, the pink and blue wire. Um, what it is, is this is the relay for the electric motor to spin the drum. And this relay is for the heater to heat that coil that we looked at. So these are the two relays in the machine. So how do we test this relay? Uh, let's see. So in order to test it, again, like I said, we need to plug this in. Um, so I'm going to plug it in and uh, do some testing. The first thing I want to test is to see, uh, I want to put it on the ohms. And I want to test between these two pink wires. The pink, uh, two pink side is the actual uh, circuit side. So let's test it. Uh, so hard to do it with one hand. Sorry, guys. A little patience. Okay. So I'm touching both those pink. And I'm trying to see what ohms I get. So basically, I'm getting 54 kilo ohms between those two uh, terminals, which basically tells me it's a good uh, relay. You know, it's supposed to be in that range between uh, 50 to 100 range. So just to recap, you, you set it uh, to measure resistance in ohms, and if you measure between uh, these two terminals, uh, if you get anywhere between 3 to 4 kilo ohms, then you know the relay is working. And when I measured between these two terminals, uh, I didn't get any uh, kilo ohm measurement, but it was giving a, a completely open line or some sort of a fluctuating difference so that kind of tells me that uh, this particular relay is bad and this is good so the motor is running the heater is not and that's the one I'm gonna replace uh, there's one more thing one more final test is you can put this on DC and uh, start the um, start the uh, dryer and then measure between the same terminals for example uh, if you measure between these two uh, pink terminals uh, it, it will basically should show around uh, 48 volts let's see okay so 50 volts so that basically tells me that uh, this board uh, is sending the proper voltage to that relay to turn on the motor and we can test it on this. This was giving uh, 50 volts too. So if, if the relay gets 50 volts on that terminal, it basically tells this circuit is good. So you don't have to change this. And when you turn the um, dryer off and you measure the resistance um, in ohms and if it's not giving and if it's giving an open line or fluctuating uh, resistance and not in kilo ohms then uh, you're basically in trouble and that is the relay that needs to be replaced.